because uh, you know I gotta I gotta get some more beer first of all, and secondly we gotta get ready for radio graffiti. So go ahead and throw on a song, engineer. Black single mom with the best of children waiting in line for her welfare check. Hey, I've got a plan. Go and get a job like a real man. And I'm a motherfucking gangster Get round easily I stole every bag in the city Join the truth Oh my 
God, how old are you? How old are you? Hell, Satan. This is just, 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 just get him off. Get him off, engineer, for Christ's sake. Does anybody hear this crap? I mean, it's like an eight-year-old kid, for Christ's sake, saying, Hail Satan. Does everybody hear this? Huh? I mean, this is America! This is America, for Christ's sake, man! This is what gets my blood boiling! This is what pisses me off, for Christ's sake! Jesus Christ. Area code 901, you're on the horn. <laughs> yeah, that's the Mexican from Memphis. Yeah, great fapping job. 804, what's up? Hello. My name is Te Puma. I wanted to say hi. So what's your excuse? I like pie. Yeah, you sound like some half a tard. Get this. 504, you're on the horn. Congratulations, you're now a lizard. Shut up, you stupid idiot. Anal Tooth Fairy, you're on the horn. Anal Tooth Fairy. It looks like you don't want to. You don't want to say nothing, huh, no boy? Huh? You don't say nothing? Here, let's get let's get some other people out here. Seven five seven. What's up? Hello. Goodbye. Uh, three two three. What's up? Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Well, we, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can you speak up a little louder? We can't hear you. We can barely make it out. Say a little louder. Fucking bitch. Do a barrel roll. We can barely hear these pricks. Can you can you speak up a little bit more? We can't hear you. Can't even hear these pricks. Honestly, no. Why don't you go fix your strap on? Okay, there it goes. Three two three, you there? We can we can't hear you. Yes, I'm here. Who is this? We can barely hear you. You sound like you're very far away. Can you can you move up to the phone, please? Yes, I'm right here. Can you speak up louder? God damn, what are you a deaf mute or something? Can you speak up louder, please? I'm not a mute. Okay, we can kind of make you out there. What what, what 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 do you have to say? Um, can you uh, tell us how your strap what? on feels? You how speak up louder. Strap on feel? You gotta speak up louder. <laughs> you mad? Uh, you mad there, little kid? Uh, you mad? Get this stupid four-eyed, freckle-faced, red-headed, beaten stepchild out of here! Get him out! Let's take some Skype callers, all right? Maybe we'll get some better luck with them. Let's see. Who do we got here? We got Dragon. You there, Dragon? Hey, Ghost. Can you rate my band? Can you, Can I rate your band? It sucks, all right? No, I'll rate it. It sucks. It sucks the chrome off of a 57 Chevy bumper, all right? That's what it sucks. Discard Skype, are you there? Hey, Gus. How's it How going? You good, I think you're right about how to America here. You know? Yeah, I, well, you know, well, where, well, where are you calling from? Where are you from, man? Uh, I'm from Pakistan, man. You're from Pakistan? Yeah. You're not from Pakistan. You're some stupid, dumb uh, European loser, probably living in some stupid, subsidized socialist crap. Get this idiot out. Get him off! Who else do we have here? We got 111. What's up? You're on the horn. Hey, Ghost. I was getting tired of my death night, and I was wondering what other class should I make. What? Yeah, I'm getting tired of my death night. He's 85, and I was wondering if you could help me make another character. Shut up. All right. Grow. How about grow the fuck up? How about that there, you stupid, dumb, freckle-faced loser? 817, what's up? Hey, uh, Ghost, what's up? How's it going? Uh, so what's your take on legalizing marijuana for, like, recreational use? Well, you know, believe it or not, I think that they should legalize it at this point. I don't also think that they should just legalize marijuana. I think they should legalize all narcotics, all right? They should legalize them all, all right? We have, uh, we'll have the government dispense, like, heroin and, uh, you know, the, the cocaine and, and all these types of things. Legalize them. Have people go to these drug dispensaries that are government, you know, related. 
will bring down the cost of the drugs. You know, an eight ball won't cost, uh, you know, 200 bucks anymore. It'll cost like, you know, 25 bucks if the government dispenses it. The government then calculates and, and takes these people's names, puts them in a database so that businesses can just kind of look at this database to make sure that uh, any potential employee that is applying for a job at their location isn't in this database. And if they are in the database, they can make a judgment call on whether or not they hire a cokehead or they hire a heroin addict or, or that, that sort of thing. I think that we would, first of all, take complete, uh, the drug dealers would be gone, you know. The drug dealers would be gone. We'd have no more drug dealers, the, 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 those Mexicans down south that are killing each other over the entryway into America uh, for the pipeline. They'd be gone. They'd be completely gone, for Christ's sake. We would lower the cost of drugs so much that there would be no more drug lords, you know. And as a result, we'd need less cops on the street, you know. So there'd be a little less totalitarianism out here, you know. Uh, you know, there'd be a lot of positive effects if we would just legalize these narcotics. You know, these people are going to do drugs anyway. They're going to do drugs anyway, all right? So why are we sitting here trying to say, um, no, we're not going to do drugs? You know what we're doing by making it so illegal? We're raising the cost of the price of the narcotic. You see, it's kind of amazing to me that America, the United States of America, has the most strict the most strict drug laws on the face of the planet, and yet 70% of the world's drugs is consumed right here in America. I mean, do you think that's kind of like a, a coincidence? No, it's not. And as a result, because of all this regulation and all these agencies dedicated to ridding the, the war on drugs, and we got to rid the streets of drugs and that sort of thing, because of all this, the price goes higher, and if the price of the narcotic goes higher, that means drug lords, drug dealers, criminals get more and more profits in their pockets. So I think that we should legalize it all. Now, do I think that uh, you should get marijuana all, uh, you know, out of goddamn 7-Eleven? Uh, no, I don't think so. But do I feel that uh, marijuana could be incorporated in some kind of a bar-like setting? Uh, and can be dispensed in a, a, a in an appropriate and mature manner, then absolutely. But there needs to be some way of keeping track of drug users, you know? I mean, so that's why if the government is going to do anything, they should be uh, dispensing the narcotics to the, to the addicts so that we uh, business owners can look into this database of drug addicts and make a, you know, assumption on whether or not we're going to hire a cokehead or hire a heroin addict and not only that, the government could charge businesses. They could charge businesses and create money right there.